What's going on, fellow YouTube citizens, my subscribers, friends, etc. And hello to you, Cerebral Madness. And indeed, it was a lot of madness upon your video response to uh, Black Women Drop the Ball by Delilah. Or my, my dad, uh, I forgot her, her YouTube ID. But anywho, I'm going to start with... Uh, the black women dropped the ball point first and before I get over to the, the black men. Okay, uh <clears throat> let me get myself caught up here. I the the black women dropped the ball part. Now where a lot of black women mess up at is when you end up meeting a doggish guy and you end up being broken hearted and disappointed and you don't allow yourself time to heal and you move to another brother because of you want to receive immediate comfort and a lot of women like I say they get broken hearted and want immediate comfort out of being broken hearted so they run to their girlfriends mom or dad whoever whoever makes them comfortable or sometimes just try to hurry up to be in the arms of another man or in the presence of another man I wanted to be led to another dog because she didn't give herself time and opportunity to heal so that what would cause the bitter black woman or the mad black woman because she hadn't fully healed to be strong so the next time if that blow happened to come her way again or she happened to get hit with that she's strong enough to absorb the punch whether it be a low life guy or not so there's one reason where one area where black women that drop the ball as far as not allowing themselves time to heal before they move on number two is I agree with Delilah as far as with I mean majority of what she said but also the the weave you know putting red blue and green and all that up in up in their head and wearing little short shorts and tight pants this another area where black women drop the ball is of course if you dress like that men are gonna not look at you out of respect because you exposing your body more than your character so of course when we approach a woman we more scoping or attractive to where she got exposed the most but we attracted to her character by getting to know her like talking to her a whole lot and her character is more exposed in her body by us having a one on one getting to know her a lot better but as far as from a distance and we approach her it's not like oh wow you know she look like she'll make the perfect wife the majority of the time, nine times out of ten, wow, like she'll make the perfect lover because the tight jeans she got on, the little short shorts, and you know her shape, and so of course automatically we thinking doggish, and I wouldn't say we, me being inclusive, but I'm just saying the nature of a male, we thinking doggish because we thinking like a dog looking for a female in heat so when a dog going to look for a, a female dog in heat he going around trying to sniff up behind whatever female he think that is in heat so he can get him some pretty much so when guys see women dress half naked they looking at that woman as if she a female dog in heat that if she that desperate to display herself that bad or showing that much of herself apparently she must be pretty easy to get so that's one another area where women drop the ball they doing it out of attention like okay how can I attract a guy but you attracting the wrong type of guy or you attracting a guy you attracting them but giving them the wrong impression he may be a good guy and he just at the same time he like her he attracted to her he want to get to know her but her body being exposed a lot more than her character is kind of difficult for him to focus on trying to get to know her because he 
may actually fall in love with her. She may actually be a good person. But because her body is exposed more than her, as far as her personality and character, it's kind of hard to concentrate. So, that's where it throws a lot of guys off, getting the wrong impression. Okay, you dressed up showing your body off to attract men, attract a good man, but you attracting the wrong type of man by the way you dress or how you expose yourself or you giving us the wrong impression. So, there's another area as far as dropping a ball. Also, of course, listening to girlfriends who don't have a man. Listen to the bitter mom if you watch the movie uh, Not Easily Broken. Mom ain't got no man. She miserable or she don't know nothing about having a relationship. The friend's miserable and they got no, they probably got a man and a man dogging them out. So the minute the woman who have a good man has some problems in her relationship, the one who having a bitter relationship with her no good man injecting poison into the woman who have a good man causing her to lose her good man because she listening to her girlfriends. So that's another area as far as dropping the ball on women. On a lot of black women listening to girlfriends, listening to bitter mama or bitter girlfriends that ain't got no man or got one and that man is not treating her like that man treating a woman who got a good man. So, yeah. And there's pretty much uh, the majority, as far as everything, trying to brief it all up, as far as on where black women drop the ball at the most. Now, it's, I understand the attitudes. The attitude is pretty much from being frustrated at their past mistakes. A lot of women, black women, have attitudes, particularly because of that because of their past mistakes, because of the choices that they made and their mistakes and the consequence from the choices that they made. Probably had a baby by a no good guy. Probably been dogged out several times by different men who they thought that was the one. So all them heartbreaks leads to a paranoia. And that paranoia is every man that looks charming is a dog or every man is a dog. But on the flip side, women like that, they say every man is a dog. When you think about it, technically, a lot of women looking for a dog. As far as black women or a majority of women. But I stick with black women in particular. And what I mean by that is, they want a man who will obey their every command and be tough when they want him to be. That's a dog, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's a dog right I mean cause you want, want us to obey your every command go do this do this do this sit roll over stay heal bark and be tough when you want us to be tough is uh, especially we got kids by this woman uh, June June or whoever he acting up go whoop him or you need to get on him or you need to do this or you need to do that or separated and the kids stay with her and she called her dad on the phone you know your your children over here acting up you need to get on them here and hand them the phone so you can start bargaining at them roof 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 the man start bargaining at them and they're supposed to calm them down so I, I need you to be tough when I want you to be tough and obey my every command technically that's looking for a dog okay <laughs> so it, it's a big bulk now you code the majority, well Delilah code the majority of the women and you cover the majority of the men. Yeah, and the men you was referring to is basically the younger race. Yeah, you have some in their late 20s and 30s that listen to rap and hip hop, which is sad. You got a lot of brothers in their late 20s and 30s that's trying to fit in with the younger generation. They not, they not trying to fit in with the era they grew up in. They trying to fit in with the generation growing up beneath them. So yeah, that is sad and disappointing and same time ridiculous. So I agree with that. But a majority of the times the, the hip hop, the sagging and all that, 
this the younger race and yeah they trying to find themselves they pretty much doing that to try to impress somebody they trying to impress the boys or trying to you know just get this image like I'm such a pimp I'm such a player they going based off lyrics or videos that they watch so you got you know Jay-Z you know uh, pimping ain't easy and you know all this uh, making these songs you got Ludacris talking about these H's this these B's and H's you got all these rappers projecting this image like to be nonchalant about women and not care about women is cool you know that's the way to go so a lot of the younger generation embracing it man, I'm a pimp I'm a player I don't love none of these you know and feel that hey you know this this is cool right here listening to Tupac with Tupac you know was calling women bees and H's so a, a lot of the brothers that look at women that way bees and H's is disrespectful coming out street like hey what's up shouty little mama da 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 is because they copycat what's up on the rap videos or they favorite rap idol and at the same time the ones in the like I said, late 20s and 30s ridiculous sad trying to do the same thing pretty much having grew up this the only form of mascul masculinity they trying to embrace is the rapper or the athlete so it's like this is the best way they know how they hadn't figured it out on their own so they copycat what they see on the video or the athlete or wherever they get it from but mainly the sources is coming from television the reason the majority a lot of black males are screwed up as far as what it is to be a man what it is to be a father and what it is to be a husband so I pretty much didn't cover everything I wanted to say but just a big majority I'm kinda of watching my time make sure I don't run over but Cerebral Madness, I thought I'd share that. And I can understand your frustration and bitterness. But uh, just like on uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, a lot of us good brothers are still around, you know. <laughs> like he told her, a lot of us good brothers, we still around. We just, we, we don't want to tolerate you know bitterness and broken hearts a lot of women over in America is contaminated and damaged so because we dealing with so many contaminated and damaged women that would cause us to migrate elsewhere because it's like every time we run up is oh we we dealing with insecurity you know every move we make we cheat and we this this that because like I said that paranoia you know I got dogged out so much he finna dog me out too or I can't trust you, or who you on the phone with, or where was you at? The insecurity and that paranoia, and then when we break up, we hear, "Oh, you can't handle a strong black woman." No, we won't tolerate a stubborn black woman. It's the difference between a strong black woman and a stubborn black woman. So the good brothers, like, hey, you know what? I'm trying to show you I'm different. You ain't giving me a chance. You constantly giving me hell. Forget it. I'm not finna put up with this. In fact, now we ain't finna tolerate you. It ain't how we can't handle. Now we not finna tolerate. A lot of us just want peace of mind, peace and quiet, a soulmate, somebody who we can talk with and share our thoughts with and be on one accord. That's it. So I'm gonna pretty much leave it at that. Hope you got insight on what I said. And uh, like I depart with on my videos, as always, I depart with you by saying peace be unto you and Christ for life, by the way.